In the annals of true crime, few tales are as chilling as the murder of Lacey Peterson and her unborn son Connor. A story that gripped the nation from the moment it broke, it's a tale of betrayal, deceit, and a life cut tragically short. The story began on Christmas Eve 2002 in the quiet town of Modesto, California. Lacey Peterson, a radiant 27-year-old woman, eight months pregnant, vanished without a trace. Her husband Scott Peterson reported her missing, claiming he had been fishing on the day of her disappearance. The community rallied together, hoping against hope that Lacey and her unborn son would be found safe. As the search continued, however, suspicion began to fall on Scott Peterson. His inconsistent stories and strange behavior began to raise eyebrows. He had, it was revealed, been having an affair, a fact he initially denied when questioned by the police. The seed of doubt was planted, and as the investigation continued, these doubts grew into a chilling realization that Scott Peterson might not be the grieving husband he claimed to be. The grim truth was revealed in April of 2003. The bodies of Lacey and her unborn son were found washed ashore in the San Francisco Bay, the very location where Scott claimed to have been fishing on the day of Lacey's disappearance. The evidence was damning and Scott Peterson was arrested and charged with their murders. The trial that followed was nothing short of a media circus. Everyone had an opinion on the guilt or innocence of Scott Peterson. The jury, however, saw through the media frenzy. After a five-month trial, they found Scott Peterson guilty of first-degree murder for Lacey's death and second-degree murder for the death of their unborn son. Scott Peterson was initially sentenced to death, a sentence that was overturned in 2020 due to jury bias. He was then re-sentenced to life in prison without parole, a decision that brought a measure of closure to a case that had captivated and horrified the nation. Yet, even as Scott Peterson serves his life sentence, questions continue to linger. His legal team is seeking a new trial, based on claims of juror misconduct. The saga of Lacey Peterson's murder, it seems, is far from over. In the end, the story of Lacey Peterson is a tragic reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of seemingly perfect lives. It's a tale that continues to haunt, a chilling testament to the depths of human deceit and the enduring quest for justice.